What's up, Makeup Minions? I'm Kim Witty from Witty Artistry, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys had a wonderful holiday, and I am back to create this cool illusion makeup. It is the new movie, The Escape Room. It's their movie poster. I just thought it was a really cool illusion with, like, the puzzle pieces and the creepy skull, and it does look like a good film. So, let's get this started. I do have a head cold, so I apologize for sounding nasally, but I would really appreciate it if you became a sponsor on my Patreon page. Whenever I do a makeup, I do list all of the products I use linked in the description below. I do get a small amount of the purchase if you so choose to get something because it is an affiliate link. But I'm starting off with a base of sealing my face with MAC Fix Plus. And I'm using my favorite foundation with a beauty blender, or I'm using, <laughs> not a foundation, I am actually using concealer right now to cover up my acne and go around my eyes in the dark circles and over my eyelids. I wanted a really solid, pretty base. I know this makeup's kind of creepy, but it's also kind of beautiful at the same time. Then with my favorite foundation by Makeup Forever Ultra HD, I am using the Beauty Blender just to cover my whole face. I recently went to Sephora and got color matched again, and my, apparently my color changed significantly. So it was really exciting to use a different foundation. It just disappeared into my skin. Then with the NYX Contour Cream Palette, I'm using the Beauty Blender just to do some light, very, very light contouring in the hollows of my cheeks and also my temples. Put on some lid primer just to prevent creasing and to make my eyelids even more pale and with the even canvas. Then with Laura Mercier, I am using their awesome setting powder, I love this stuff, and a brush from Sephora. Just fluff it around on your face just to seal in that foundation. Moving on to the harder part of this look, which is the SFX part. I will be using my Wolf Body Paint Palette for drawing the outlines of all the puzzle pieces. The movie poster has certain puzzle pieces that are missing that reveals sort of like a stylized skull underneath. I decided it would be good to start with those pieces first just so it actually looks like the movie poster. I was using the girl's facial features to sort of match up with my facial features to see how big the puzzle pieces should be, how long, how wide. So I really want it to, to look like the movie poster as best as I could make it. I started in the center of the face and I'm working outwards after I drew in the essential puzzle pieces that'll be missing. I'm just using a medium brown peach tone to create the puzzle piece shapes. And when I get to the edge of my face, I'm sort of just fading them outward and they just kind of disappear into nothing. I've always wanted to do a puzzle piece look. I always see them on Instagram and I don't know, they look like a good little challenge. And I found it challenging, but it wasn't like overwhelmingly challenging. So it was a, it was a nice little, Nice casual makeup, I guess, for lack of a better term. It was definitely really tedious creating puzzle pieces because, you know, they all have to fit together nice and perfect and look semi-geometric. So whenever you are um, doing something like this, make sure you're consistent with your line size and thickness. Then with a dark brown, I am going to be outlining the special puzzle pieces, the ones that are going to have a skull underneath just uh, where there's going to be a shadow cast because there's a hole. Then I am filling those pieces up with some gray body paint and adding white as well. And I'm just stippling that into there because I'm going to be creating the skull, but the skull is also shaded because it's underneath the puzzle pieces, if that makes sense. Here I am adding some gray into the upper parts of the puzzle pieces, just where the shadow would be cast, and also the lower parts of the puzzle piece where the jaw curves. Fill in your chin and jaw. I will be going back over the gray with more white and I am now using black to outline the hole in the jaw and the hole uh, on the other side of your cheekbone. Then using some gray to shade the entire jaw. And I had some difficulty with the teeth so I had to edit out like this large portion because it didn't make any sense. But essentially just draw lines on the bottom and top of your lips to create the teeth and then shade the tops and bottoms of them with a dark gray. And once I have done that, I am just going to add a highlight on each of the teeth. And I'm going back up to my cheekbones and I just kind of hop around on the face because I, you know, when you're shading something, especially that's in like chunks, you kind of hop to one side and be like, ooh, I kind of need to add some more to that other part. So that's just what I'm doing. Now with a black, I am creating a dark drop shadow on the upper parts of the puzzle piece edges of the hold sections because the like I said, the puzzle pieces are going to cast a shadow onto the skull part. 
outline your teeth with black and also where they would sink into the jaw. Shade the edges of the jaw, edges of each of the puzzle pieces again. I am adding more gray to some of them because some of the puzzle pieces looked abnormally white. And then I'm just cleaning up the edges of each puzzle piece. It's kind of just a layering game that you go back and forth on. But once the skull pieces are done, I am using a light flesh tone color from that Wolf palette to highlight the upper edges and rims of all of the puzzle pieces around the, the skeleton holes. This is a really weird one to describe. And then I'm blending out those highlights just to make it look like there's a ledge. And then I'm using a medium brown to go in selective lines of the puzzle pieces themselves just to create a little bit more separation. And so you can just sort of see it from a little farther away because it was kind of a little more subtle than I wanted it to be. Add a little bit of glam. I am using the NYX Cosmetics uh, copper shade and a baked eyeshadow and I'm just lightly adding that into the crease of my eyelids just to give my eyeballs a little more dimension. Then I'm going to be using Milk uh, Milk Kush Mascara. It's a new product. I'm actually going to be releasing a complete review on this product next week, so please stay tuned. I have a lot to say about this product, but put it on your upper lashes and your lower lashes just so you look super fabulous to, you know, try to escape from a room without dying. It's very important you look pretty. Make silly mascara drying faces. And then using a BH Cosmetics 120 color eyeshadow palette, I'm going to be using gray just to shade a little bit more subtly um, in those crevices in the skull again. Basically, I just want the forms of the skull to look like they round off into space. Add some white highlights onto your skull and then seal it in with MAC Fix Plus. And you are all done. Let your hair down. Be fabulous. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Please let me know what you thought in the comments below. I really want to do some more illusions, so if you have any like crazy cool ideas, please let me know in the comments below. <laughs> Love you guys. Thank you guys so much for sticking to the end of this video. I really appreciate it. I had a lot of fun creating this, mainly because I was watching a really funny comedian, which isn't the greatest combination when painting really detailed lines, but oh well. Uh, if you're new here, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button below and the bell next to it so you don't miss any new videos. Also, huge shout out to my wonderful Patreon producers. Without you guys, I couldn't create stuff like this. So thank you so much, Bradley Shear, John Huckaba, Dan Tastic, Benjamin Sorgatz, Tyson Moore, and James Holderson. I love you guys, and I will see you all in the next video.